Hello, hello, and welcome back on Banama Today. Joining me, Lane Nobla. And uh, as you can see, I have a very different guest in the studio. I did mention earlier that we'll have the CEO joining us, but it looks like he's been otherwise occupied. So we'll be speaking to Senior Vice President of HDC, Puan Hasni Zarina Muat Khan, about the World Halal Conference 2014. Hello and welcome, Puan. How are you doing today? Yeah, good. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you for having having us. Um, oh, thank you for today. coming to the studio. Uh, we wanted to find out a little bit more about the World Halal Conference because uh, apparently each year uh, the Halal Industry Development Corporation and agency, uh, which is under the Ministry of International Trade and Industry, uh, METI, mm -hmm. uh, in collaboration with Madrid, stages this World Halal Week. And in conjunction with World Halal Week, we understand that there is actually a World Halal Conference that's uh, being organised. This is an event that brings together conference participants that comprise government and industry leaders, technocrats, industry experts, manufacturers, buyers, researchers, academicians, graduate students, stakeholders, the media, as well as the general public in one arena. And this will be happening at the Cal Convention Centre from 9th to 10th of April. So, Puan, perhaps you can uh, enlighten us a little bit further today with regards to the World Hala Conference. Can you begin by telling us what the World Hala Conference 2014 is all about? Okay, um, thank you. Yeah, uh, basically, before I start with the Hal Will Hala conference, let me just talk a bit more about HDC. Yeah? Okay. Um, HDC is an uh, government. It's a government agency that was formed way back in two thousand six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, it starts to spearhead the development of halal industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is a uh, World Halal Conference is conducted in conjunction with the ha World Halal Week. And it's a platform where all the industry leaders, the halal stakeholders uh, and subject matter experts, um, they meet to discuss about issues, um, trend and challenges in the global halal industry. Right. So what are the main major issues that are plaguing the uh, the world halal industry as we speak? Okay, uh, well, there are many issues, but of course, um, the focus or the theme for this year is really talking about global food security and looking from the halal perspective. Um, as you know, when we talk about um, food security... Yeah, it's a global issue. It's yes, not just within from the halal correct. perspective. You know, everybody's and talking about exactly. this. Exactly. And uh, what more in halal? Yeah, that, that's When you talk about the Muslim population out there, it's a huge population. We have about 1.8 billion Muslims out there. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about the global halal market itself, mm -hmm. it's valued at USD 2.3 trillion. Trillion. Wow. Yes. So it's a huge market out there. Yes, yeah? it is. And we talk about the food security, really talking about the supply and demand side. Because when you talk about the demand, as I mentioned about the population, mm -hmm. you need to ensure that the halal supply is there and it's being distributed um, correctly. That's so right. that's some of the challenges in there that we're talking about the distribution, um, the supply chain, mm -hmm. um, and and the industry itself. Right. Yeah. Okay. So what are some of the expectations that would evolve from the World Halal Conference? So uh, what would these sessions focus on? What will we be uh, able to learn from this? Okay. Uh, just on that, yeah. The the conference will be held for two days. Yeah. It will be held at um, KLCC mm -hmm. from the 9th and um, to tenth April. That's right. And it is a mixed of speaking slots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There will be panel sessions as well as mini ministerial panels. So we're expecting um, participation from six countries. Yeah. Right. Turkey, China, Japan. So it's it's global thing. So we talk about it's at international level. Mm -hmm. And there will be concurrent plenary sessions uh, that will be hosted by other agencies at like um, the Corridors, um, the Kedai Investment, and they'll, they'll be talking more about the investments and the ecosystems. Mm -hmm. So we also have a networking session with uh, YB Minister, yeah, Datuk Sri um, Mustafa, mm -hmm. and uh, that will be attended by at least 100 delegates from uh, six different countries. Mm -hmm. Um, we also have some other parts, which is um, gallery, business meetings, and networking. That's right. Now, okay, so how does this uh, WHC or World Halal Conference benefit the global community? And uh, what do you foresee? Uh, how, why is this an important platform? Why do we need to talk about this? Why do we need a platform for these speakers to interact? Perhaps you can enlighten us a little bit more. Okay, um, yes. In, in HDC, yes, we do a lot of other initiatives too, yeah, mm -hmm. like the Global Halal Support Centre as the reference centre for all the uh, global players to also um, 
look at it as some point of reference or knowledge sharing but by having this platform yeah we are pulling together all the um, industry experts subject matter experts be it academicians researchers um, and even uh, policy makers mm. to come and meet and discuss about some of the key issues and hopefully with that we will be able to see from a different, a larger perspective, mm. and and then different points of view. Exactly, then mm. we can take you know from Malaysia what will be the things that we need to further improve right. or or um, act upon. Learning off one another. Yes. Um, now, is Malaysia the only one that's taking the lead on this? Uh, are we the ones that are taking the lead? Uh, who are the other parties that are actually you know uh, strongly driving this uh, agenda? Okay, when you talk about halal agenda now as it is, of course. Malaysia Malaysia is really well positioned as the trusted and innovative leadership authority mm. yeah, when it comes to the halal knowledge and halal integrity. Right. So um, being in that position, I think uh, it's best for Malaysia to have this or to host this session um, because it's seen as the leader when you talk about the um, halal industry itself. That's right. Now, who are the speakers that will actually be speaking uh, during all these sessions and oh, during the conference? Yeah, that be speakers from many countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, namely Turkey, China, uh, Japan, Bahrain, and all that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they they're coming from different different uh, backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, from policymaker and also the subject matter expert from the industry. So. Is there a key speaker to watch out for? I mean, if you were to attend the HALA conference, who are you looking uh, to listen or to hear from? Okay, uh, that will be a long list of speakers. <laughs> so I, uh, okay. what, what they can do is um, look for the news, more news that will be coming at the, um, at the website. We'll be posting that, yeah? Okay, we'll do. So the program and the website. So we understand that there will be uh, the likes of uh, Datuk Sri Mustafa Muhammad, uh, the mm. uh, Miti, uh, mm. uh, Yang Wagia Tan Sri Razali Ismail, the permanent rep representative to United Nations as yes. well, uh, Dr. Muhammad Yunus, Managing Director, Gram Min Bank, uh, Mr. David Nabarro, Secretary General, Special Representative for Food Security and Nutrition for the United Nations, Mr. Iyad Amin Madani, Secretary General of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, Mr. Rushdi Siddiqui, uh, Advisor to Thomas Reuters for Islamic Finance, Halal Industry, OIC Countries, Mr. Yusuf Ali, uh, Managing Director for Lulu Hypermarket, uh, Madam Zainal Momma, uh, Noor Abdurraouf, Executive Director for Group Corporate Affairs, Nestle Malaysia, as well as Dr. Tabasum Khan, Managing Director for AJ Pharma Holdings. Uh, a very renowned list of speakers that yes. you guys have lined up for this conference. Yes. Uh, uh, and in terms of the participation, who are you expecting to participate and who are the people that should attend and would benefit from attending the WHC 2014? Okay, they are basically ha the halal stakeholders, yeah, um, industry players, mm -hmm. whether they are buyers or they, s they are suppliers, mm -hmm. um, academicians, researchers, um, even... Um, Lay know, person? I mean... The yeah, UNIs? Uh, yes, <laughs> but the only thing, it's, it's of course, it's uh, by invitation. Right, okay. Yeah? So, okay. so it's by invitation only for attendance. Uh, yes. You don't have, there is no like set fee. Is there a set no, admission fee? No, there's no set fee. Okay. Yeah, there's no fee for this. But for the World Halal Week, uh, you guys have an exhibition that's running yes. concurrently. Would that be open to public as well? Okay, that is only for trade. For uh, trade. So those yes. are trade. Okay. Yes, you trade. And so this one will be specifically for uh, trade, uh, industry people, buyers, and yes. all that's connected to it. So it's not yes. open to the public. Yes. It's Conference not. or exhibition, both. Um, okay, on the last day for the exhibition, there will be... Mm -hmm. yeah. There will be a, a day that's open yes. to the public. Yes. Admission fee for that? Um, that's no admission That's fee. no admission fee. So it's yeah. free for um, those that are coming in. Yeah. Uh, so, oh yeah, you no noted that the industry leaders, technocrats, industry experts, experts. Um, how many do you think are going to fill up your seats in okay. terms of uh, uh, We're looking at, we're targeting about 600. 600. And yeah, we've received quite an overwhelming response for that. Is it full yeah. already? Um, <laughs> well, it's quite, yes. Yeah, so because uh, these are the industry players that have been um, waiting for to have this session because this is an annual session that we have. Right. Yeah. 
So it's it's filling out the seat. So if you haven't already booked your place, uh, you might be running out of time. Uh, and if delegates and participants wanted to register for the event, uh, those who are invited, uh, how do they go yes, about that? Yes, uh, they can then RSVP it, uh, through the web portal that we've provided them okay. with. Okay, there's yeah. an email address for them to send it to, whc at hdcglobal.com, for you to be able to register yourself. Uh, and if you want to contact them for any further information, their website is www.hdcglobal.com. Thank you very much, Puan uh, Hasni Zarina, for all your uh, insight into the World Halal Conference. Hopefully, we'll have uh, uh, a future that you know it, it develops the World Halal industry yes. in, a, in a bigger level. Uh, okay. if you have any last uh, messages um, to I've the public? Yeah. Okay. What we like to see is that by having this, um, first it will create awareness more about the halal industry. Yeah. Mm. And it will then help to um, create momentum for economic growth. When you talk about halal industry, it provides that economic growth. Mm -hmm. And of course, talking about the sustainability of the supply yeah, throughout the supply chain. Thank you, Puan. Uh, that's all we have for Panama today. Uh, do stay tuned. We'll we have the news coming up soon. And that's all we have. Take care. Okay. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, all right.